Hello, everybody, and this is Stacey Chalemi from The Advisor, and today I'm so excited because we have a very special guest, and this is Ron Beckenfield, and he is the, the owner and founder of Superior Source Vitamins, and he has a podcast on our ad advisor series, and he also has done numerous podcasts with us because he's just amazing, and today he wants to talk about mindset and how to reduce stress and how those two factors play a big role in our overall health. He also wants to explain how you could incorporate different vitamins, different supplements, and different ways of maybe exercise and other things into your daily lifestyle that could have a huge impact on your stress level and your overall health. So Ron, take it away and tell everybody a little about yourself and tell everybody about this great concept that you want to discuss today that really is important in our society. Yeah, good morning, uh Nice seeing you again. Uh, basically, we want to discuss how uh, uh, B vitamins, I think, would be very beneficial uh, for your uh, for your overall being, mental health, and so on and so forth. We at Superior Source make a B complex for women. Mm -hmm. It's very effective. Another thing we ought to touch on is for feeling good your overall health you do need sleep and rest and i think uh people that do have a problem falling asleep melatonin is excellent which we make a product like that our superior mm -hmm. source microlingual melatonin and exercise is extremely important for your mental clarity you ever notice when you kind of yeah not i don't know great but you start moving around with exercise it seems like a, it, it washes everything away yeah, you know, some of your problems are going to go to the back burner if not gone away all, all the time. One hundred percent. Another thing I think we ought to want to touch on, which is that I've done some new studies that protein to keep your protein up, to keep your muscle mass up, and collagen from your bone mass are probably the most important things you can do to prevent aging. Right. Diet is important, obviously, but those two really are very, very, very beneficial. Yes, for sure. I think, you know, people don't realize, but as we get older, we become more deficient and our, we produce a lot less things like melatonin Our you know, we, our bodies don't function the way they used to, you know, um, we don't heal as well as we used to. So there's different ways, you know, to incorporate um, different vitamins and supplements to help us. And stress is a, a huge factor because if you're not feeling good, your body is stressed because your body is trying to recuperate and renew itself and it's having a difficult time. And then also in our society, we live in a society that is a go-go society. There's a lot of pressure put on every generation for numerous reasons. And stress, you know, one factor is, you know, 70% of illnesses are caused by stress. And, you know, when we look at it, you know, we could actually help reduce our stress and get rid of a lot of our stress by we're focusing on our mindset and how we think and how we look at the different obstacles that enter our, our um, everyday lives and, you know, have different ways and, and different habits that we incorporate into our lives to make it better so we don't get stressed out. And I think a lot of these vitamins are great resources too because they, they help to reduce stress and they help the body function better. And, you know, how are some of the ways that you deal with stress? Like how, what kind of mindset, first of all, like you've gone through a lot in life and you've accomplished a lot, but even starting your own vitamin company and getting to this point in your life, I'm sure you've come across a lot of obstacles, a lot of stresses in your life. How did you deal with it? What type of mindset, what frame of mind did you incorporate into your lifestyle that helped you get through the hard times? Well, first of all, everybody's going to have a little, I, I think a little stress kind of keeps you on your toes, Yeah. but you can't, just, you just kind of can't go over the, off the cliff with it. That's when it, you get messed up. Yes. So every, everybody has a little stress, but n enough to keep you motivated and keep you going and make you a fighter. Mm -hmm. That's what life's all about. Yeah. For me, it's just been, uh, you know, like I say, I started my company out of the trunk of my car and that was, uh, over 50 years ago and right ups and downs you get the stress but you know as you as being in this industry like you are you start picking up knowledge a lot of stuff was theory now it's really proven to be very effective mm -hmm. i give you a perfect example 50 or 40 50 years ago they said if you lifted weights you'd be muscle bound and you couldn't play sports you you, you 
you can't even be a golfer without doing something like Tiger Woods. Yeah. That, that type of thing. So, or even many, many years ago, drinking water while you are working out. No, no, no. That's all, all gone. Yeah. But now there's new things that are coming around that new, new, new thoughts with more science behind it, where they're, they're proving how uh, effective protein is right in elderly and women, especially to yeah. hang on to your bone mass and your muscle. Right. Which I think is, is just as critical as your uh, eating habits, because if you lose your muscle, you, you, you're not, you know, you know, you don't have much to work with as far as keeping yourself healthy and strong doing everyday activities, going up and down the stairs or whatever, right. that type of thing. And like you said, as you do get older, you do lose your muscle mass. And two proven ways to keep it is keep your protein up. Should be a gram per body weight, probably of protein. Okay. And you do need some resistant training. You don't have to go sweat it out and kill yourself in the gym. But I think 20 minutes would be at the minimum. Mm -hmm. And that combination with some good eating habits and take some protein. I take a protein that we make. Uh, it's our keto protein. Yeah. Right, right here. Mm -hmm. It has 10 grams of uh, a protein of, of collagen in it, but there's no sugar at all. I use that. I put it in my coffee. I use it before I work out. Uh, another thing is we're just coming out with a new product. I maybe shouldn't be talking about it. We're going to use some creatine HMB. Creatine is probably the most... Uh, advanced supplement there is as far as uh uh people uh we uh all the uh, work they've done i mean on the uh, uh study of it you know your yes. clinicals so on and so forth and that's going to be a, a a big big deal it's actually very good for you mentally oh good i'd recommend creatine to everybody to take it before or especially after any kind of exercise right for the mental clarity for this but keeping your protein up, I take another product myself, which is this beauty, we call it beauty collagen. I, I have to, I don't got a lot of hair, but I got to cut it all the time. <laughs> this, this right here really, really do, do, does it for me. Seriously. And I have to cut my fingernails about once a week. Right. But before it used to be months. And like I say, I don't got a whole heck of a lot of hair, but I got to cut it about every two weeks. Wow. Yeah. Here today, gone tomorrow, right? <laughs> <laughs> this is very, very good for the women, just dynamite. Yeah. For the skin. It has, uh, uh, besides the 10 grams of collagen, it has hydrolonic acid, which, which nourishes your, uh, hydrates your skin. Right. We have biotin in a, a, a high potency amount. 5,000 mics. Most biotins you see on the market are only about 1,000. Yes. And this combination, which I formulated myself, is just fantastic. I take it myself. I take it. I think uh, for real good health for the nerves, especially you mentioned the nerves and the stress, your B12s. Mm -hmm. You can't miss with that one. Yeah. I, you know, I think people don't realize that it actually helps with stress. When people see B12, they, they automatically associate it with energy, but it's more than just energy. Oh, you're 100% right. 100% right. The B12 is excellent, excellent. Right. I take that personally. Of course, your vitamin D. Right. I take a 5,000 D myself personally, mm -hmm. especially for women again, too. Yeah. I think that's uh, very important, but you need to, you know, for your mental being, you, 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 you need to put, give yourself some time every day to unwind, whether it's in the morning or whenever uh, you got the busy life. If you can give yourself a 40 minutes would even be better than 20. Right. It, it, it'll be beneficial. And another thing is I, you know, maybe it's a little touchy subject is, you know, if you're not feeling good or maybe you're a little out of shape, it doesn't make you feel great. Right. You know, everybody likes to, feel good about their self. And if you're in shape, it goes a long way. Right. I mean, a really a long way. Or at least if you're not in great shape, you're working towards it. So it makes you feel good. Yeah. Do that. And sweat and a little sweat never hurt anybody. Right. Exactly. Exactly. I feel like exactly. exercise is very important. Even if we can, like you said, just do 20 minutes, that's a minimum of what you need, but you keep, you have to keep moving. You have to keep moving. Right. There's old saying, you rest, you rust. 
Mm-hmm. You know, you're, you know, you know, you put whatever you put in life, you get out of it. If you're, you're, you're a little on the lazy side, you know, those are just habits that can be corrected and don't cost you anything to do that. I mean, to get a little discipline with your time, right. You get up a half hour earlier. It, it just, it'll go a long, long, long way, especially when you get older, you yeah. got to really keep moving. Yeah. You got to um, keep everything moving constantly. You know, people never even talk about the ankles and the feet, how really important they are. I mean, that's your support system. Yes. At least a little exercise with them. You know, take your hand and wiggle your feet around and your ankles around. Just little things like that. You can do that while you're in bed. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I don't think people realize that when you're moving around, you're actually creating circulation, your your blood circulating, and that helps with a lot of joint pain. A lot of people that just sit on the couch or they're just not moving around, they're having a lack of circulation in in their blood flow, which causes, which can cause, I you know, joint pain and pain aches and pains in the body because it, it's very important to to circulate and, and move around just to the fact that you, you need that circulation that blood circulation or you can get joint pain and you can start feeling those aches and pains when you wake up and people are wondering why especially in our older age why this is hurting and that's hurting well how much are you moving around are you just sitting in front of the tv and watching the soaps it makes a difference you know when you're in trouble when? when your hair when your hair starts to hurt, you know you're not moving around. You're one hundred percent right. I mean, it, it just these little things, and it doesn't have to be a Herculean effort for yourself. And of course, eating good, keeping your protein up, uh, uh, eating as fresh as you can, and uh, you know those type of things. Just a little little bit of it here, a little bit of it there, makes a huge huge difference in your mental being. A lot yes. of it is mental too, you know. Oh, a hundred percent. I think that's where we go back into the mindset. You know, our mentality, you know, people don't realize how powerful the brain really is. Once you give up, your your body gives up, everything gives up. You have to really have a strong mindset, a positive mindset. You have to, you know, really try to be goal oriented and really think about what do you want? You know, what are your goals? What are you trying to accomplish? And then think of ways where, you know, so you don't get overwhelmed, maybe try to break things down, I think. And, you Heck know, baby steps, you know, to get to the point where you want to be, you know, and, and you think about, you know, you know, when we get into our older age, you know, how do we want to feel? How do we want to be? You don't want to be that person that aches and pains and, and doesn't look forward to tomorrow. You want to be a person that feels vibrant and energetic and feels good and looks like you when you hit the age, you know, that you're at, which is 80, which is unbelievable. I hope I could be like you when I hit 80, you know, and you want to have, you know, a strong physique and you want to, you know, have a physique that you could feel proud of. And you don't want to wake up with those aches and pains and, and you want to have a strong mind because once you lose your mind, that's it. You, you want to try to, you know, that's why they tell you do puzzles and try not to, you know, and try to keep your mind active because that helps with dementia and Alzheimer's, you know, well, taking care of your health, eat, taking the right supplements, taking the, eating the right foods, getting the right exercise, you know, focusing on different things in life that could help you as well thank goodness in this country we're at a point you imagine living in one of these third world countries where you had you don't even can't even get water yeah where everything is so available to us it's so easy it's so convenient all you gotta do is put a little bit of effort in and you can have it all i mean yeah. nothing herculine right you know, i call it pecking at it but you call it one step at a time Mm -hmm. uh, if you have that attitude, you just can't go wrong. And fortunately, in this country, all this is available is and most of a lot of this stuff is very inexpensive or free. Yeah. Do a little stretching or go for a walk. I mean, doing a few little things like that. Uh, it's free. Right. You know, good fresh air is free. Right. So, I mean, I think you, you're hitting it right on the head. And uh, I, I mean, I've lived this basically my whole life. It's served me very well. And I'm always motivated constantly, you know, to keep moving. And especially I like to change up on a lot of stuff. Right. Constantly changing, constantly doing things. And it keeps you fresh and motivated. Yeah. I get up in the morning, man. And once those, those feet hit the ground, man, I'm ready to go. 
<laughs> and that's great because a lot of people have trouble even getting out of bed, especially as you get older and your hormones start to deteriorate and you're not producing as many hormones and your progesterone and your testosterone levels are going down and your estrogen levels are going down. You really need to think about what can you do to help balance your body? Because a lot of times, especially even testosterone, that's a very common thing in both men and women. And you know, people relate testosterone to just men, but it's not, it's men and women. And it affects your energy level. It affects, you know, a lot of people get very fatigued. You hear a lot of people saying that they couldn't even get out of bed because their testosterone levels are so low. And they didn't know that at the time, you know, it, it caused them to have that chronic fatigue. And instead of running to the doctor and getting a medication, well, what can we do naturally to increase our, you know, our energy level and increase so we don't have that fatigue? Because that's a stressor in itself. If you can't get up Absolutely. and do the things you want to do, then, you know, it's going to be very hard to live the life you want. And that's where the stress rolls in. And that's where the illnesses can come in just by that stress. You're 100% right. But just a minimal amount. And you got 24 hours a day. Mm -hmm. You want to sleep eight hours. And then now you got those other 16 hours. What the hell are you going to do with it? And now you're retired. I mean, if you don't really got any really good habits, uh, you're heading for the graveyard. Right. I mean, what something to motivate you, you know, if it's gardening or you know, any, anything is nice. Yeah. You know, retirement is not good, especially when you get older and people talk about it. I'm still working. Mm -hmm. I'm old. I'm still cranking away. I love it. So what are some of the things besides B12 that people could use to increase their energy level? Uh, well, I think a good B complex for everybody we have when it's superior source. So exactly. a woman's B complex, uh, it's a good balance B complex. I think if you're going to really take any supplements to start with, I think maybe you ought to take a, a, a multivitamin. Mm -hmm. That'd be the easy way. Then start looking from there. Where do you want to improve? What would improve uh, your skin? Like I mentioned, our, our, our collagen, that's going to do it. Uh, you want to uh, uh, talk about keeping your body weight down. Protein for sure. It, for me, I don't know about everybody, but when I have a protein shake, it really fills me up and holds me about three or four hours. Yeah. They're very low calorie, most of them. Almost any protein you get. Our our uh, uh, keto collagen, I think, is maybe 90 or 100 calories per serving. I mean, right. And, and it fills you because you're using it with water or you put it in coffee. I'm right. not a big coffee drinker, but I do drink coffee before I work out. Just give me a little boost here. Yeah. And you made a good point before the show, you were talking about how sometimes we could look at our bodies from the outside and realize there's something going on on the inside. And you had mentioned, you know, a lot of times, you know, your skin could have a big impact too. Like stress could cause wrinkles, you know, having dry skin can cause wrinkles. And, you know, these are some of the things that, you know, you could look for, you know, the coloring of your skin, is your skin vibrant? Is it, is it pale looking, you know, you know, are you glowing, you know, and, and, and little things like that. You could start to see, you know, different things. If you're bruising easily, you might have a low collagen, not enough of collagen in your body. You know, if your, your, your wounds aren't healing the way they should, and it's taking forever or you're scarring instead of, you know, getting, instead of having a little cut and it goes away in a couple of days, you're ending up, it's there for a month and then, it, and, it, and it's scarred. Well, why is that? It could be because you have not enough of collagen in your body. So Correct. these outside sources are could be actually signs that we could look for because these are the signs that your body's giving you saying, hey, I'm not I'm not feeling good. You know, I'm you know, there's something that needs to be taken care of. And we have to look at these things. Now, when it comes to um, skincare, you were saying that your beauty collagen plays a really big role. It helps with the moisture of your skin, I guess. And it helps with the... That's a hydrolonic acid. keeps moisture in the, in the tissues. Excellent. So that could help with anti-aging also, that people who want to keep that youthful look in their skin and they don't want to, you know, have those wrinkles, at, you know, at, at such an early age or they want to prolong it. Something like that would be a great resource then. Yeah, every, you know, it's just, it's just little, little, little things, little things here, little things there. Uh, very important. You touched a little bit on the hormones. Uh, those are very important to get those in balance. And uh, testosterone is a, a real driver Yeah. of that. And it's been, before it used to be, a, you know, people didn't want to talk about it, but you can go to almost any physician and through blood tests, they'll prescribe you this uh, either in a, a salve or a cream or injectable. Yeah. It's very, very important. 
It's just not for becoming a big bodybuilder, you know. Yeah. Is your, yeah. your t testosterone does decline along with the rest of your hormones. And one of the best ways to keep those up is exercising, but not yes. overtraining, just exercise, just right. the, uh, balance in life. Very, Very important. True. It goes back to discipline, everything. I mean, everybody's got 20 minutes. I don't care how busy they are. Nobody oh, can be that. I don't, I don't know. Even your, even, even the president of the United States has got time to take a nap. You know? Yes. No, it's I mean, everybody has, everybody has time. So, I mean, it just make that time and that's your time. Yes. It's, it's, it, it really is managing your time and really how important is it to you? Because if something's really important, you're going to make the time for it. That's just anything in life. If you, if you know, whether, if you say you don't have enough time to exercise, well, that's not true. It's not important that. to you. You know, that's, that's an excuse. You know, there are many people, you know, if, if you go, if you leave the house at nine o'clock and you get to the store, they're going to give you a free $50 gift card. Well, you'll see a lot of people make time to get up at nine o'clock in the morning and make sure they're the first one online. So, you, you know, they, <laughs> so if, if, if they exactly. can do that, you know, they can, exactly. they can make time for exercise, you know, it, it's all what's important to you, you know, and, and that's what you have to really look you at. You don't have to go to the gym as long as you just keep moving and just do something you enjoy, whatever it may be, you know, just get out and do, just move around. Exactly. If walking's your thing, great, you know. Yes. Just keep doing it. But as you get older, you need more. Not Is it funny? As we get older, we do less. We actually need more. Yeah. Then when you're when you're younger, everybody's feeling good pretty much. Everybody's pretty much looking good. I mean, when you're twenties and thirties or forties, I mean, you start pushing that over the sixty, the game changes. Right. And if you haven't put in that, that foundation, that background, it's going to be a little tougher sledding. Oh, a hundred percent. So I mean, I would say forty and above, you better start paying attention to yourself a little bit. Yeah, I agree. Everybody gets old. Everybody gets a few wrinkles. How the hell are you going to feel? Yeah. You know, that's what, they got, that's what they got plastic surgeons for. I mean, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I you made a really good point before, too. You talked about being overweight before the show and the importance of really, you know, focusing on, you know, um, being at a healthy weight. Because a lot of times people, we have so much processed food in our society and people don't realize a lot of the, you know, diabetes has tripled, you know, our society, you know, most, a good majority of our society is overweight and that plays a huge role on our health. And, and, it, you know, a lot of times in society, the social media tries to make it look like, well, you know, your body is beautiful. Yes, it is beautiful. But if you're overweight, you're opening yourself to illnesses, guys, like, diabetes, high cholesterol, heart attacks, strokes. You know, if you have, you mentioned how important the feet and the ankles are. Well, if you're overweight, you're going to have a lot of weight and pressure in your feet and ankles. How are you going to walk around? So many times I've been in, in, um, in the supermarkets or I've been in stores and people have portable, you know, carts that they're walk they're in because they can't walk around because they're in so much pain. You know, it's important to be at a healthy weight. It's important to take care of your body because you, you get to the point where if you are overweight and you're not eating the right foods and you're not taking the right supplements and vitamins and you're not getting the right exercise and you're not getting enough of sleep, you know, you're going to get to the point where you're not going to be able to function properly and you're going to open yourself up to these illnesses. I know people who are in their, in their fifties who've had, you know, even, you know, that have, have strokes and, and they, you know, and people who have had, you know, heart attacks and, and really terrible things have occurred. And it's all because of how we take care of our bodies. And it's really important that, you know, you discuss and explain to people why taking care of your body, why having that good mindset, why reducing stress. Once you lose that weight, you're going to have a lot of stress reduction. And I'm sure you're going to even have high self-esteem and better, and you're going to feel better about yourself as a person, which will make you want to do more, which will make you have less stress in your life. You know, there, it all ties in everything in, that goes on in our life, all ties ties in where everything's connected i agree 100 percent. and you know nothing you know another thing you didn't quite touch on i don't know if you ever go to the doctor for an appointment hey it, 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 the time you drive there the time you fill out the paperwork the time that you're killing two hours mm -hmm. you know i don't want to be older and chasing around the doctors constantly you gotta pay 20 bucks for parking and this and that <laughs> you know what i mean it is it, it's a hassle yeah 
and you know, that I, I don't want to spend as I get older, be chasing around to doctors and I got to go to doctor this day and got a doctor. You, you lose about two damn hours. Yeah. If you would put the sure. 20 minutes of yourself every day, you might not be going to the doctor so much. Right. Exactly. Can't stand, even to get a checkup, I go up in the, the foul of the parking, the this, the that, the, you know what I mean? It just, yeah. Sit in that office and everybody's, you know, look coughing or whatever, you know, I just don't. Yeah. It's not a healthy place for me to go to the doctor. I mean, I get a checkup, uh, you know, once a year and I get my blood pulled a couple times a year and, you know, I'm always looking at my blood. Right. And uh, just go to the doctors. I mean, it, it, not that I have anything against doctors or anything. It's the time consuming and the aggravation of it. Yeah. Especially when you live in the city. Right. You know, I live in Long Los Angeles to get around and the traffic is murderous here, you know, just to go anywhere. Yes. And That's I don't right. want to be doing that. Right. I got to go to this doctor, I got to go to this doctor and that doctor, you know. I do like functional medicine doctors because a lot of them do thorough blood work and they can tell you what vitamins and supplements you're actually deficient in in your body. And, you know, I, you know, for, for, they do tests that normal primary doctors will not do and they check for everything. They're getting better now. The younger doctors before, uh, if they have the integrated medicine, I think if you can get a doctor with both of them that's yeah. open-minded yes. and really believes in this, and you know, there's room for both types of medicines mm -hmm. and they complement each other. And I think it's a, a wonderful way to go. And if I was going to, I do have a doctor like that, but I was be looking for a doctor. I'd want a, a doctor that when they go to medical school, if I'm not wrong, they don't train them too much in this uh, alternative no. medicine. I mm -hmm. think more and more, and on top of it, it'll get you in the right mindset. Another thing gets you in the right mindset. If you buy a vitamin, let's say a B complex, it's something new and it kind of gets you excited, like going out and buying a new dress. Yeah. You know I mean, it's just a new toy. You're right. And it just motivates you to maybe get excited about something else, but it gets you moving in the right direction mentally and physically. Exactly. It's something for yourself. I got this, you know, powder, you know, uh, instead of chocolate, I'm taking this strawberry. I mean, get, you know, it, to me, those little things get me worked up. Yes. Enough to keep me going. Exactly. Exactly. Or the challenges of uh, 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 sometime after you eat, you know, late at night, that's when the cravings come, at least for me, not yeah. to be diving into the sweets. Yeah. Take that, take that challenge and, and see if you can do it. Right. Very you know, it does take a little, it does take discipline to be healthy. Yes, it does. The working out part is actually the easy part. I tell my friends, you can teach a monkey how to lift weights. <laughs> but the discipline of the eating, and you, know, you go to the restaurant. Yes. And they, you know, they go, what do you want for, uh, uh, here's a dessert menu, you know. Right. That I'm not saying not to have it, but that, that challenge of that kind of makes me go a little bit. Yeah. It makes me to take that challenge a little bit. You know, I, I really want that cheesecake. Yeah, man, man. <laughs> and those little things will make the uh, break, make and break you. Yeah. And once you get in a good, clean, healthy eating habits, you can have those type of things and it won't bother you too much. Right. Exactly. You don't want to get in that vicious cycle mm -hmm. of not feeling good and giving up. Unfortunately, a lot of people give up. They won't yeah. tell you what they do, but they show it the way they live. And I think with the supplements, it's a good way to get you moving in the right direction. Yeah. Taking a dietary supplements, it, it will. And it might, it might push you into exercise or uh, the vice versa. Yes. But it's all, together. you know, whatever you put in life is what you're going to get out of it. You know, if you don't put much effort, you're not going to get much out of it. I agree. You don't have to be a fanatic. You, there's a moderation. Mm -hmm. Like I said, you got 24 hours a day. You can't squeeze in a few minutes here and there and eat right and cook right and there's so many choices now when i started with this i mean the, they can make cardboard taste good now i mean <laughs> i mean i mean the protein powders are like they're, they're like malteds are great it, it's just so easy now yeah all you gotta is. do is open your wallet open your wallet might be the most physical thing you got to do about this thing <laughs> right but i think you know spend people have to money. realize you know if you could spend money on you know on certain things you can spend money on your health because a lot of times people get cheap, you know, and they, they'll spend money. Yeah, but you can make it fun though. You can make it fun. When you go to the gym, I don't know. It's not for everybody. I've known through the decades going, I've met people, let's say you go there at 12 in the afternoon, the same people are usually there at 12 and a half. And there is a camaraderie there. It's a great, great lifestyle. Right. 
it, at least on the same plate plateau, everybody has a somewhat of a similar attitude. Yes. And a lot of people are afraid to go to the gym because they're badly overweight or they feel uncomfortable. Hey, just jump in and dig in and very people will be very helpful and very kind and very nice. Yes, they will. So a lot of those people came from the same place. Yes, exactly. It's a great social scene. Yes. It really is. And if you're going to, you know, it's a great way to socialize. You can meet some lifelong friends. I have, I have friends I've known for 50 years just from the gym. Right. Or it's a motivation too, because when you see other people do it, you feel like you can do it. Like I was in a yoga class and I was starting to get feel worn out. And the woman next to me must've been in her late seventies and she's doing it with no problem. I'm like, well, this, if this lady can do it, I could do it, you know? And it just motivated Absolutely. me to finish, you know? Absolutely. That's a great motivation. You look at them and you look at the, you know, I said, Hey, you know, I'm way younger. I mean, if she can do it, what, what's going on here? You know? Yeah, exactly. Embarrass you into, embarrass you into doing it. Yeah. <laughs> It's all ties together. You know, like I say, I, I love my business. I, 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 I still work every day and it keeps me going and it's constantly new projects, constantly new this, and you got to be stimulated. Yeah, definitely. Can't just sit there and watch TV. Uh, that, you know, that's okay. That's okay. But it's not where it's at. hundred percent. Now, if we had to take all the stuff we talked about today and we had to like wrap it up, like, like what are some of the important things you'd like to emphasize about mindset and stress and, and how people can really get over the hump and get to that point in their life where they feel good about themselves, they're healthy, they have less stress in their life, and they're on the right track. What are some, you know, maybe points you'd like to stress? And the number one point, and I keep saying it over and over, you've got to have the discipline and the desire and the want. If it is to get you a, a, into a new dress you want to buy, or just feel good to be able to, as you're older, to play with your grandchildren, something. Yeah. To get you discipline. So you got 24 hours a day and you can, you can, you can squeeze in some time for yourself. Everybody needs it. That yeah. would be my number one thing. And then find something you enjoy uh, with your exercising. Yeah. Kind of Pilates, stretching, yoga, anything. Mm -hmm. Get involved with that. And of course, there's so much knowledge about eating. There's so many great places. Uh, fresh, eat everything fresh as possible. Stay away from the packaged goods. Yeah. Not saying you gotta, you know, be tightened down like crazy, but just in moderation with the junk food. Yeah. Maybe, maybe an a, a 80, 20 or 90, 10. Yeah. 80, 90%, you're good all the time. Yeah, you know, you, you, want, you want a little vacation, you want to loosen up a little bit, and, you know. Right. It's fine, but it can't be on an everyday deal. Right. You got you to you put money in the bank. And yes. every time you, you, you eat right, clean right, you're putting money in the bank. So you can withdraw some money and, not, and still have plenty of money in the bank. Exactly. Exactly. That's, how I look, that's kind of how I look at it. Just peck away at it and enjoy your life and make it something you enjoy. There's got to be something in the world of exercise somebody might like. Yes. I mean, there's got to be something. There's got to be something for sure. There's so many different ways that you could exercise and, and keep moving. They have, you know, and they have, you know, it's all moderation, what you can do. You don't have to be like, you know, the next Arnold Schwarzenegger. You can. Why you not? Can, you got a chance. You're human. You, you got a chance. Hey, let but me it, tell you, I know him personally. No, he doesn't have the best genetics I've ever seen, mm -hmm. but he worked extremely hard. I was in the gym with him for years and the guy's a phenomenon. Some people have better genetics than others, but you absolutely can improve a hundred percent, man. There's no right. doubt about. It. I mean, more. If there's more than a hundred percent, you can. Yeah, I've seen people come in the gym with tremendous genetics. I mean, they're, they're already cut up. And they're, you know, maybe five foot ten and one hundred eighty five pounds is lean. And when you first start out, you just get tremendous response. Your body, you know, you know, really adapts quickly. And there's other people who don't have such good genetics, but. Yeah. You can improve tremendously. You can lose a lot of weight. You can get really have positive results. Everybody, I don't care who in the hell they are. Yeah. You know, I, I agree with you in that, you know, like, you know, I, I was just saying, like, if someone has a condition and, and they can't, you know, do certain things, they could do like Zen yoga, stretching and stuff like that. Absolutely. But, but if you uh, have, like, like you said, if you can do it and you have the ability to do it, you know, as long as you have that powerful mind, mindset, you can do it. So. It's called working around your injuries. Everybody's injured. Everybody's yeah. got injury. Mm -hmm. 
The guy tore my quadricep. It's been five months healing. And I'll tell you, it's been a big mental thing for me. Yeah. You know, it hasn't been fun. No, but painful. I believe it or not, through all this misery, I never, I didn't back off my routine and be honest with you, that's what keep me motivated. Right. Because a lot of people my age would have thrown the damn towel in, I'm telling you. It's yeah. a you know, it's a misery. It's about a year recuperation. You, you, I couldn't even drive for about two months, a car. Right. And I went from a, a wheelchair to a, a walker to a cane. Now I'm not using anything, but right. it, it wears you out, but you got to have something to keep you moving, man. Yeah. You got to have something to keep you moving. I think the exercise for me has been an absolute salvation. Yeah. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a fanatic, but I'm not saying like I got up this morning. I worked out at 430. I worked out for an hour and a half. Mm -hmm. at breakfast and I'm going to do my podcast here, uh, uh, and I'll take another, I'll, I'll do a weight training session. That's but I mean, if I didn't have this salvation, I would have been a basket case. Yeah. A, a person like me has been busy all the time and moving around and it just, it's, it's been a nightmare, but this has kept me alive. Right. Honestly, it's been a major, major, major deal. Just knowing I can do some exercise and I just starting, I mean, it was, it was very hard. Yeah. You don't realize when you tear a muscle, your Achilles tendon, I mean, how it affects you. No, it's, it's very, painful. I've never had anything like this and I get it almost, it's almost 80 years old. It's been a real nightmare, but I've overcome it and I'm moving forward. And that's amazing. And it's because of the way you take care of yourself. So that yeah. shows people. And it makes me feel good. I mean, if, if I didn't have the gym or fortunately I have a, a nice gym in my house and uh, I would be really messed up, man. Yeah. Basically almost suicidal. No, it, you know, it, it, taking care of yourself and having something to live for is what keeps us mentally and physically. Absolutely. And Those are things we really haven't touched on too much on that mental aspect, like the, 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 the grandparents, the grandparents, they live because they see the kids, you know, mm -hmm. well, I mean, that's a big deal, you know, for that to happen. It keeps them going. Or right. a lot of people live for their children. You know, they've kind of given up on their self, but they're living through their children. Right. You know, very important. And you need that mental strength and, and that discipline will give you that mental strength along with eating proper and, of course, taking superior source vitamins. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> now, where that's, just we... my, that's just my slant on life. You know, I, I don't know if yeah. I got it right or wrong, but it works for me. And I, I'm overall a pretty overall a pretty happy dude, man, to be honest with you. Yeah, no, I could see it. You you look healthy, you act healthy, you recuperated very quickly, you know, you're and you're you're living the life, you know. And I I, I happen to take your vitamins also and I, I like them a That's lot. That's why you look so good. <laughs> <laughs> you got you talk about the beautiful smile and the glowing skin. <laughs> I thought you were only about 25 years old when I first met you. Oh, I love you. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you the address to send the check, okay? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now tell everybody where they can find your vitamins. Uh, at Amazon, under Superior Source brand. Uh, we're in a lot of retailers like Sprouts and Vitamin Sh Cottage, Vitamin Shop. Almost all, all re uh, health food stores. And if they don't, you can ask. But almost anywhere online, Walmart. Uh, like I say, we have a, a large distribution across the United States. That's awesome. Now, where, what website, which, if people wanted to go directly to your website, where did they go? Superiorsource.com. Uh, okay. This has been amazing. I, 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 yeah, I we always have so much fun with you. And I love talking to you because you're so positive and smiley and you make my whole day. And uh, I try to be, and I try to be around people like this. It's very important. It is very important. To have There's enough negative energy. crap in the world going on. You know, every time you turn on that news, man, it's like, you know, it makes you want to go jump off a bridge, you know? Yeah. Yeah. You, you I try to stay away this. from the news. I, I don't listen that much to the news. I try to stay around positivity and it really yeah. plays a big role. And that's role. where the gym comes in. People like you, they're like mine and they flock to these places. I'm surprised they're not a gym on every corner, like a 7-Eleven. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. yeah. But at home, you can do some. They got some wonderful uh, YouTube stuff you can follow and yoga, any kind of stretching or any of that type of stuff. There's a tremendous amount of stuff. Yeah. And also a lot of the equipment they make now, they have virtual programs that are attached to it that you could actually, you know, you could have it a virtual trainer if you want. And uh, 
you know, so there's lots of ways people can incorporate healthy exercise into their life. Well, Ron, this has been amazing. Always I, great with you. I love having you on the show. I can't wait till you come back. You know, Ron okay. has his own podcast and he'll be back, you know, to share some more great, valuable information. For but sure. It's been wonderful. Thank okay, you thank so you. much for coming okay, on the show. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye.